All right, our next senior vice president promotion, another SVP out of the state of Georgia. This gentleman's an example of someone who is doing it all for his family, specifically his wife and two daughters, who he calls his three ladies. He says they are the reason he is walking the stage today. Since joining Five Links three years ago, he admits there were times that he wanted to quit, but he knew there would be valleys, and he knew that he would succeed if he just persisted. His parents had taught him at a young age that if you started something, it was important to see it through. He wanted to make sure that everyone here knows the importance of finishing what you start and to make sure you take time every single day for personal development. He truly feels that he is proof that anyone can succeed in the Five Link system. His mentor is his big brother, Rick Harden, who is also going to be walking the stage today as a newly promoted senior vice president. So please help us welcome new senior vice president out of the state of Georgia, Chuck Harden. You know, life is a fight. You have to go out here and fight for what you want each and every single day. Because the moment you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want happens automatically. And they stay there. You have to have a burning desire inside you to want something different. You have to want to win. As a matter of fact, it has to be stronger than that. You have to have a will to win. It's defined in a poem, A Will to Win by Burton Brack. If you want something bad enough that you go out and fight for, that you work day and night for, that you give up your time, your peace of mind, and your sleep for, and all that you scheme and dream is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, when you gladly sweat for it, fret for it, plan for it, lose all terror of the opposition for it, nothing will stop you from that thing you most want. If you got that thing with all your capacity, your strength and sagacity, faith, hope, confidence, and stern pernacity, neither cold nor poverty nor drought, sickness nor pain of body or brain can keep you from that thing you most want. And when dog and grim you beseech and beset it, by the grace of God you will get it. Now that you know what you want, you have to go out that thing with reckless abandonment. You have to become fearless. Do not let the fear in the world keep you from the blessings that come from above. Fear is not even real. Fear is false expectations appearing real. But everyone feels it. Everyone does. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that we see it, we feel it, and we do it anyway. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frighten us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be bold, powerful, and beautiful? Who are you not? You are a child of God. You playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about you shrinking yourself so other people won't feel insecure around you. We're all meant to shine like children do. And it's not just in one of us, it is in all of us. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence alone can liberate others. Be a light for your community and your world. Miss Marianne Williams. Now that you know what you want, now that you're not scared to go get it, you have to go out there and go get it. Don't wait for somebody to give you a check. Go out there and make your own. You can build your life by design, not by circumstance. What happens in life happens to you. It doesn't define who you are. At the blink of an eye, you can change your mind about everything about you. You can build a better life, a better business, and a better world. Y'all become a power builder. I am a power builder. I live my life with the attitude of gratitude and expectation, thanking God for his power that flows through me. I make a daily commitment to build up my God-given powers and the powers of those around me. I build my mind, my body, my spirit, my business. I build my world. I'm a power builder. Excuse me for one second. How y'all doing, Five Links? First, giving honor and glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Without him, I would not be here today. I would be nothing. I want to give thanks to the founders for putting together this great company, for their vision. I have to give thanks to my family, my beautiful women. You guys are my motivation when you are near, and you're my inspiration when you're not, and I love you guys with everything I am. I also want to thank my parents, who, my other parents who drove up here just to see me get promoted, Miss Charlie, Charles and Pearly Webb, and let you guys know it only takes one person to change the destiny in the family. And I want to give that respect to my father, Mr. Richard Harton, who instilled in me and my brother that you can go out there and be successful. Pastor Steve I always talk about you should never look past your front door for success, and we never had to. I got a few notes I wrote down because they told me I'm on a limited time. <laughs> I want to give thanks to the Millionaires Club, Mr. Ron Williams, Mr. Marshall Folsom for helping us build our market, and especially John and Patricia Jones. Thank you for giving us the place to build our business. Thank you for giving us those conversations at 1 o'clock in the morning eating chicken wings after the meeting. <laughs> to WGI, Barry Donaldson, and C. Anthony Harris, thank you for training the trainer. For um, Stanis Reese Richards for being that great example. And to the person that I call the queen of Atlanta, Ms. Lisa Nicole Cloud. Thank you for your mentorship. Thank you for your friendship. It's invaluable. To the Icon Group, to Sheena Pettiford, my man Kareek Payton, we're going to continue to build business together. And to my TPN family, <laughs> Jamie and Donna Willard, Ross Lambert, Jasper Brewster, you guys are awesome. And for Mr. Dwayne Johnson, brother, you will go down in history as one of the best because you selfishly give everything you have to help everybody in this room. Daryl and Phyllis, all good. Mr. Mondez, how am I look forward to continuing to build markets with you? And to my upline senior vice president, Mr. Lee Garrett, thank you for helping me get to this point right now. And to my Power Builders family, I love each and every single one of y'all, and I humbly stand up here as a representation of you. And I pray to God that I continue to represent you well. I was standing in line at 7 o'clock this morning because I had to run in with my team because it took me running in here to get the senior vice president. But I realized I wasn't running by myself, and all y'all ran with me. So I'm going to continue to run with each and every single one of y'all. And last but not least, to my other brother, Mr. Steve Carter, brother, you have changed my life. You have helped build me to where I am right now, not just as a businessman, but as a man. Woosah. To my other brother, Mr. Sean T. Hill, brother, thank you for your vision. You saw this when I didn't. You told me what we were going to do in this business. And I mean no disrespect by calling him my other brother. Because if y'all know me, y'all know I got a brother. And he is the pure definition of a big brother. Rick, you are my role model, you are my mentor, and you are my guardian angel. Because God knew you are the only person that could walk this in my house and me take it seriously. And I thank you and Sean for letting me take this ride with y'all. And to let you know, I'm proud to be a senior vice president, but I'm be more proud when I get off the stage and walk to the back of the room and walk you up here as a senior vice president, too. And you guys, we're going to take this thing to the next level. We don't operate in fear. When you feel that fear kicking up, just get rid of it. I'm going to tell you how. When you feel that fear, that's just false expectations appearing real. You need to get in the gear. That's God's expectations appearing real. Because God has a plan for you, and he'll start pouring all kind of blessings in and out of your life as soon as you're ready to receive them. We're going to take this company to the next level. Atlanta, we representing. Peace up. A-Town down. Speed plus strength plus precision equals power. I would not have been given the powers I possess if I was not expected to use them. Along with great power does come great responsibility. I choose to use my powers for the forces of good. Forever increasing my world for the better forever. Forever increasing. Let's hear it again. New Senior Vice President Chuck Harden.